The vote, which was largely symbolic in nature, concerned remarks and online statements by Rashida Tlaib that drew condemnation from both sides of the political aisle. The congresswoman posted a video over the weekend on X, formerly Twitter, that claimed President Biden supports the genocide of the Palestinian people. It included clips of protesters across the US chanting, from the river to the sea, a phrase which the Anti-Defamation League characterizes as anti-Semitic. Tlaib defended her use of the phrase, calling it a slogan for freedom, human rights, and peaceful coexistence, not death, destruction, or hate. The majority of her colleagues felt otherwise. She told them she won't let her words be distorted. The idea that criticizing the government of Israel is anti-Semitic sets a very dangerous precedent, and it's being used to silence diverse voices speaking up for human rights across our nation. Do you realize what it's like, Mr. Chair, for the people outside the chamber right now, listening in agony to their own government dehumanizing them? To hear the President of the United States, we helped elect dispute death tolls as we see video after video of dead children and parents under rubble. Mr. Chair, do you know what it's like to fear rising hate crimes, to know how Islamophobia and anti-Semitism makes us all less safe? A censure resolution is one of the most severe forms of punishment in the House, but Tlaib will still be allowed to serve. A new poll out on Wednesday shows that Americans are divided over whether Israel has gone too far in its response to last month's terror attack by Hamas. The White House says Israel has a right to defend itself, yet the administration here is also pushing for a humanitarian pause as the death toll in Gaza rises. Benji Heyer, CGTN, Washington.